the challenge we have with the Jet C2 is to get a cabin that is the benchmark of the industry today and make it even better, not only for the passenger, but for airlines and leasing companies alike. Some of the key goals we have for the cabin concept are to emphasize the individual territory, bringing more personal space for passenger and carry on board luggage. Also, to create a concept of modularity, bringing flexibility for different business models without a burden of customization. Designing the new aircraft for Embraer, we tried to look at a way of differentiating it from all the other competitors of narrow-body aircraft. With that, we're looking at territory, we're looking at space, and we're looking at something that gives a unique feel for the passenger. We've redesigned the PSU to be passenger-focused. It allows each user to have control of their air and their reading light without disturbing the passenger next to them. We've been able to enhance the bins so when the doors are open, they integrate with the ceiling for a cleaner-looking cabin when boarding the aircraft. At the same time, we've been able to maximise the bin space without sacrificing cabin space. The bin is now big enough to fit an airline standard piece of luggage wheels in first. We've designed a new first class seat for the E2, which keeps all of the luxuries of a traditional first class seat, and has been integrated into the cabin without the need for bin change configuration between classes. To achieve this, we have placed the seat on a stagger, and this allows us to use the same seat track as the economy cabin, without losing any of the living space and features you expect in first class. We have designed the lavatories to fit everybody's needs. We have acoustic curtains for privacy and integrated handrails into the internal walls. We have designed the lavatory to be more modern, something that takes cues from contemporary hotels, looking at high quality materials and maximizing space. By pushing the mirrors back, we've cleaned up surfaces and all of the areas that would have been dirt traps. The engineer was involved in the concept of the E2 interior. Uh, based on three main requirements. The first requirement was easy to maintain. The concept of the panels, uh, the, the access for the panels and how to remove that and access the, the systems behind of that was a primary uh, uh, requirement for us. The second requirement was about the uh, robustness of the interior. The third requirement was the modularity to be easy to configure and reconfigure the aircraft.